Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third video. Go and have a look at the weather in the next 10 14 days for today's third video. Okay, 10 will take us to 26th of January. And we'll be able to send out beyond that with the Essential Affairs and ECM Ensembles. Maybe much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us well into February. I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video is sales are 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Uh, I've also uh, released the EC30 day as well, the extended EC look here for the UK and for the rest of Europe too. So uh, please check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. Right, so we're going to start off with the strategy just to confirm that Zona Wings are now in reverse at 10 8 yeah, There we go, the blue line there, which is how Zona Wings have been performing that 10 8 game of strategy from the beginning of the season back in September to present um, has reached parity with the zero line. So we are in fact having a major sudden stratospheric warming event officially <laughs> by the definition of a, uh, of a reversal of um, zone winds there. Um, you look at this and it doesn't look like we're having a major sudden stratospheric warming event, I have to say. Uh, but we do still have a displacement event of the polar vortex with blue colors pushed out into the North Atlantic and into northern parts of uh, Europe as well. Remember, this is primarily happening because of a warming that occurred a couple of weeks ago. So that big warming we had a couple of weeks ago, the stratosphere didn't reverse the zona wing at the time, but it did do a lot of damage to the polar vortex. And this is like a culminative effect, if you like, we've seen the zona wing finally uh, reverse. Anyway, the latest uh, forecast from the GFS produces another pretty significant warming, moves it into the uh, stratosphere over the uh, North Pole in the next couple of days, and that just about splits the PV. Look at those blue colours being pulled into two lobes, so we get a very brief split there of the uh, PV at 10 HPA around the 19th of January. Um, and then the PV starts to reform around the 23rd or so. Again, displaced right across northern parts of, uh, of Europe. We move on into the extended range with this GFS run. Another sort of warming occurring right over top of the pole there as well, keeping a uh, disruption of the PV going. Eventually, we end up looking like that. So by the end of the GFS 6 f run, yes, it's the 1st of February, it looks like polar vortex is beginning to start reforming and starting to get that back together again. Um, no, not a killing blow for the uh, PV, despite the reverse, it looks like it will still be in business, uh, albeit again, still weaker than average probably though. Um, as we go to the beginning of February. Um, we also see another slight one begin to happen over Siberia up to that point. So, all quite interesting what's going on with the stratosphere this winter. Quite unusual uh, winter developments with, with the stratosphere. And, of course, we will keep you updated. Central temperature is uh, dropping further, so we're now sitting at 4.1, which is 0.3 of a degree above 61 to 99 average. That's provisional to yesterday, 15th of January. So up to the middle of the month, we're basically about average 61 to 90, 90, probably a little bit below for uh, 91 to 2020. And that will carry on dropping over the next few days as well, with more cold days and frosty nights to come. That will be dropping possibly to the twos by the end of the week. It'll be interesting how low that is by sort of Friday, Saturday. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. On M field today, another suggested location for this part of the video. The red line is the third year upper air temperature average for M field, signing off below average at the moment. We're going to stay below average over the next few days as well. However, into weekend changes taking place as the upper air temperature starts to lift up and it comes much milder than as we go through the final week or so of, uh, of January. So the last week, 10 days, but particularly the last week of the month, looking uh, a lot milder. Also, a spell of unsettled weather to come um, through the weekend into the start of next week, looking quite wet, possibly a bit of a drier trend, though, as we go into the closing days of the month. We might start seeing some high pressure bridging up from the south. Snow road for Enfield <laughs> looks pretty grim. Better move on from that, I think. No snow to come there in the next couple of weeks. Temperature anomalies from 16th, 24th of January, colder than average for the UK 
and for Ireland. Uh, precipitation anomalies sitting 24 for January. Average uh, possibly a bit wetter than normal, especially so for more northern and western regions. Over in America, it's very cold in the next week across central and eastern parts of America, warmer out in the west. So that cold air across eastern America could well be what's put the scupper on uh, <laughs> on our cold uh, snap, actually. This uh, cold air could well be pulling out into the Atlantic and helping to invigorate the jet stream. Sometimes you can get cold on both sides of the Atlantic. At the minute, we are cold on both sides of the Atlantic, but the blocking is just not strong enough, probably, to hold up cyclogenesis. But uh, this cold air pulling out of Eastern America is uh, is uh, is going to be generating. So I suspect that at least is part of the reason why we're going to be uh, seeing an end to the cold weather, and we go back to wet, windy conditions by the end of the week and the weekend. Precipitation anomalies for America, um, largely dry, but average in many areas, but there is regional state-to-state -state variation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, back from Earth, no school dot net shows up pushing a trough of low across the northern half of the country today, taking some snow with it, and behind that, winds will go back into colder northerly or northwesterly once again. Right, let's start going with chart data then. So, basically, you can make your run for midnight on Friday. Shows that uh, we've got a ridge of high pressure through the country. Then we've been cold air. That's the block basically collapsing down through western parts of Europe. So, but by Saturday, midnight Saturday, the Atlantic flow is beginning to start to re-establish again. And then over the weekend into next week, you go to what looks like a very unsettled spell. That's midnight Monday. Looks stormy for the north. Severe gales there. And another low downstream by this time next week, Tuesday 23rd of January, that looks like it's got our name on it and could well be bringing further wet and windy weather, or maybe even stormy weather in it, in with it, um, through the middle part of next week. The icon run looks like that again, under a, a ridge of high pressure on Friday, keeps the cold weather going one final day, but then we're into milder west south west issues Saturday and Sunday, turning stormy. By the time we get through to the beginning of next week, severe gales up in the north, a proper old battering to come there. Further gale force winds through the middle part of next week as well, that particular area of low pressure. I suspect both of those could be named, actually, by the Met Office. So more named storms, more heavy rain, more severe gales, the battering, the deluge <laughs> is back in business, I'm afraid, from the weekend onwards. Uh, KMA, again, a little ridge of high pressure, um, for Friday, but that is quickly pushed south was by the low pressure sleeping in. I've been at it. That looks really quite stormy through next weekend, particularly focused on England, where it's a little bit further south was with that storm. Um, but that looks wild, doesn't it? That looks really wild. And then we go through into next week, another significant low bring potentially stormy weather in with it. And then an attempt to build up some higher pressure from the south. So as we come into the closing days of January, we possibly turn drier. And we could turn very mild with that as well. That is a long fetch southerly southwesterly that we're drawing up there. So that's the kind of thing that might see the temperature going up to uh, the teens Celsius. That could get the temperature up to like 14 uh, degrees, especially so across eastern Scotland with a bit of phone effects and whatnot. So it could become exceptionally mild then around or just after day 10 into closing days of the month. GFS midnight run again, that little ridge of high pressure in the country on Friday, mostly dry but cold. Into the weekend, increasingly deep areas of low pressure, bringing wet and windy weather sweeping in from off the Atlantic. Very mild though, with those southwesterly winds, but plenty of rain to come. And then heading up towards Daytona, higher pressure starts building up from the south, turning being drier and potentially very mild as well. The midnight GFS one does attempt to get a Scandinavian high going. Look at all these heights building up to our east into closing days of January. Uh, we'd actually get a Scandinavian high, but uh, there's just too much activity in the Atlantic to allow that really to, to, to get going properly. However, the heights are really building there over and to the east of the country. So that's quite interesting to come to the end of January. That could be some things to look out for, and one way we might get that some colder weather, even with a relatively active Atlantic, if heights build strongly enough over Scandinavia and uh, northeastern Europe, then that could get the wind back into the east. We end up looking like that with the GFS big night run. Gets us to the 1st of February, ridge of high pressure through the country, but still building up 
to the heights to the east of us as well. So as we get to the beginning of February, maybe we should be looking east rather than north for our next sort of colder interlude. We'll have to wait and see about that. Uh, right, the 70 FS6 there is looking again under that uh, cold ridge, which is a block collapsing essentially on Friday. So cold and dry on Friday, but by Saturday, Sunday, wet, windy weather coming in, this low looks pretty vigorous in the Atlantic. That will bring potential spell of gale force winds late in the weekend. And then through to next week, the unsettled weather keeps on going. So uh, we had to wait till we get to about day 9, 10, the high pressure up, ridging up from the south, turning things drier, very mild with that. High pressure, we're drawing up along that southwesterly, so temperature could easily get into teen Celsius with that one. And then beyond that high pressure, just sort of knocking around to the south of the country in particular, never quite settling down in the north. And notice no heights building up to the northeast this time. So uh, actually, we uh, we just look relatively mild, and for the south, reasonably dry. For the north, still quite unsettled. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos? Don't forget to your friends about it as well. So thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. We only need to put on around 10 subscribers to get ourselves to 17.8k. We are so close to 17,800 subscribers. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe. That would be unbelievably kind. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Let's see if we can get to 18k before the end of the winter. It might take another cold snap um, <laughs> in February, maybe, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to get to 18k before the end of the winter. Uh, right, okay, GM again, the richest high pressure river country on Friday, mostly dry and cold, but then we go back into those west, southwest issue weekend, it's only milder, but also wetter and windier, vigorous areas of low pressure then through the beginning of next week for high pressure start building up through the south through the second half of next week. That's the scenario for day 10, looking very mild, the uh, push of southwesterly winds, bringing really mild conditions up from the uh, southwest pair once again. And then we've got the ECM again under the area of high pressure, the, the ridge of high pressure on a Friday. We're into milder unsettled conditions over the weekend. Beginning of next week, looking very unsettled as well with further wet and windy web to come that low through the middle of next week, looking quite vigorous, particularly for the north. And then days nine and ten sees a change, high pressure again building up from the south drawing up that southwesterly so turns exceptionally mild there potentially into the closing days of january and the question is where will the high pressure go next will the high pressure just stick there and if it does we'll carry on drawing up those southwesterly winds will the high pressure start backing west and maybe bring a spell of frost and fog um or could the high pressure go even further north and get itself up to scandinavia and set up a cold easterly wind as we go into the beginning of february will be interesting oh, of course the other scenario is that the high pressure could collapse again in that direction and just allow the atlantic back in i suppose that's probably the most likely um outcome really visible precipitation forecast based on that at each run from threadjo.com snow in the north today um just missing this snow event over on the continent uh, tomorrow, look about how close how close is that precipitation to getting into southern counties. But as it is, the snow is over the continent. We say mostly dry, but will still be cold. Snow showers, um, they're knocking around for the second half of the week, but many to weekend change take place. Milder, wetter, and windy weather starting to push in from off the Atlantic. Looking really quite wet potentially there through into the early part of next week and further bouts of rain to come as we go into the middle of next week before things start turning drier that high pressure building up from the south uh, that's the setup at day 10 so some wet weather coming to the far northwest but otherwise it's a drier sort of days 8 9 and 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. We are saying it may Thompson gets us 26th of January. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure ridging through the western side of Europe. Low pressures out in the Atlantic and we're bringing up uh, a mild southwesterly wind that includes the control and the operational run. We've got 15 with low pressure more to our northwest, high pressure to our south. So that's 
again, a mild scenario, but dry, dry for South West wind potentially in the north. 15, again, high pressure city, more or less over top of the country, is built up from the south, so it will still be a very mild with that. And we've got, um, is that one? I think that's just one <laughs> member of the East Devils. I was looking like that. But they're all much of a muchness, I have to say, just like slight variations of a thing, but they're all much of a much, so they're all looking very mild and uh, anti-cyclonic actually at day 10, so it's better dry and very mild weather to come then. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got, will get us to the 31st of January, 14 members of the East Shell Souls, again with high pressure to our south and south east, again we're drawing up that southwesterly wind, we've got... Um, 13, I think that is, with high pressure just to our south, low pressure is to the north. My sight's still not very good, you're probably a gathered. Um, though, a, a lot of dry weather though with that, and uh, mile two, we've got 13. Again, high pressure just bridging over the south of the country, and cyclonic dry mile. We've got eight with high pressure, a little bit more out to the west of the country, top of low pressure of Scandinavia. That's trying to get things back to a colder, the more unsettled scenario. And then we've got three <laughs> with high pressure a bit further north. So just about starting to bring in an easterly flow. So that one's trying to get a bit colder from the east. But to be honest, most of the options are looking anti-cyclonic, dry and mild for the closing days of January. Maybe a taste of springing, but um, seven so speed two finally. So, uh, these are 500 millibar high tonight's breakdown into wheat pairs. First wheat pair takes from 16th to 22nd of January. So, the next week looking unsettled but gradually turning milder with winds going back into the southwest. Week two is going to be the 23rd, 29th of January. Low pressure weight to northwest, high pressure building up from the south, winds coming up from the southwest. So that's dry for the south, but very mild as well. Week three is going to be the 30th of January to 5th of February. Again, high pressure sitting to the south, low pressures away to the northwest, winds coming up that southwest direction. It's going to be very mild into, into the beginning of February. And then week four is B6 to the 12th of February, high pressure then sitting over the top of the country, more or less slightly out to our west. So, um, looking very anti-cyclonic really as we come to the end of January and into February. Um, and probably quite mild as, as well. We might start pulling something a bit cooler, perhaps into that area of high pressure from the northwest. But really, the high pressure's got to go uh, quite a bit further northwards to just turn properly cold again. You notice heights are sort of building around here into Russia and back into the polar region. So it probably wouldn't take all that much to get those two ridges uh, together. And if we did that, we could possibly start backing the wind into the E. But it's all ifs, buts, and maybes. And I have to say, like the end of January, beginning of February, looking very, very, very mild here, potentially. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone board doing that. Why not drop a comment? And let's us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends about it as well. It's Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. I'll just tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. Thank you so much, everyone. Just tell you what's happening, happening on the channel tomorrow. I say, only around 10 subscribers. That's all to uh, get 17.8k. So, could give us a sub. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, right, so tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. We've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. There will be Strat Watch coming up tomorrow as well. And then we're live at 6 p.m. with our Wednesday evening live stream. We'll live stream our 10 to 40. That will be the first live stream we've done uh, for a week. Week, so uh, it'll be nice to hang out and see you all. That's coming up tomorrow at 6pm. Uh, for this video and for today's video, so that's all for now. And thanks for watching.